Uh, so I've given lightning talks here before. Some of you may have seen this one. It's by ambiguity. Um, I'm going to carry on about ambiguity, but I'm not going to talk about US uh, measures and metric measures this time. But it's going to be about another form of ambiguity. This time it's about the ambiguity of this, um, this product of growth. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Well, it is a fruit, isn't it? There we go. So we've got that one out of the way. This is a different sort of cucumber, though. So has anyone come across cucumber, the BDD tool? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I've got the last time I got kicked off this stage was when people like you were heckling. And that last time it was, it was I think it was Francis that did it. So cucumber is a tool that reads, um, that, that reads some specification of how the system is supposed to work and then calls code in your system um, to ensure that it works in the way that you expect it to. This is what the, the Cucumber core concepts are. We've got features, so feature files is where we write the business readable specification. Cucumber reads this business readable specification based on what it sees there. It calls through to your automation code, which is sometimes called glue code. Um, and then that glue code uh, calls out to your application and checks that it behaves in the way that it's expected to behave. So Cucumber, the Cucumber open source project, um, started off with Ruby, there's a JVM version, there's a, a JavaScript version, uh, there is a C++ version, though it's not supported, um, uh, and outside of, the, uh, of, the, um, uh, of the, the core project, there are other um, implementations or ports of Cucumber. So Cucumber exists in many, many different flavors. Um, and as you'll see here, there's a, well, you probably can't see because you'd have to squint at it, but you can see the top ones have got green little squares, or rectangles at the bottom. That's officially maintained by the Cucumber uh, open source project. Um, the red ones are officially unmaintained. Uh, the blue ones are, are semi-official, and that's a very odd situation. And then we have unofficial uh, ones as well that, that go along the way. So there's lots and lots of ports of Cucumber because it's a really simple product. All it does is it reads some semi-structured uh, specification uh, using, a, and then calls your program. It doesn't actually do anything clever. Um, so we talked about uh, cucumbers being, are they fruit or vegetables? Is this a cucumber or a gherkin? Yeah. Yes, exactly. What's the difference between a cucumber and a gherkin? I'm not sure, except that gherkins are normally pickled and cucumbers are normally sliced. So anyway, um, this is gherkin. So gherkin is the semi-structured business readable um, format that cucumber and all those families of cucumbers that you just saw earlier understands. Um, and if you read it, uh, you can see that although it's a bit stilted, it's, it makes sort of sense. It's something you might show to your product owner. You might even show it to a customer. Um, so that's Gherkin. This is what people get really hung up on. They could think, if I write my tests, my tests using this format, then I am doing behavior-driven development, BDD. And if, that, if I use Cucumber to do it, then I must be doing BDD because Cucumber was created to implement and support BDD. Um, they're wrong. This is what BDD is. BDD is a set of three practices, discovery, formulation, and automation, that get applied in turn, sequentially, to a user story. So discovery is where you collectively come to an agreement in the team about what you're supposed to implement. Formulation is where you take that collective agreement and you write it out in some form of business-readable language so that it persists for the lifetime of the project. If you happen to use Gherkin to write it out, then you can automate it using Cucumber. Now your documentation is, is not so much self-correcting, but it at least will tell you when it deviates or diverges from the product. So that's the goal of BDD. The goal of BDD is to really understand what you're doing so you don't have to do it more than once, then to document it so that you don't have to go and reverse engineer what it was that you did, and then automate it to make sure that Anytime you do diverge from your documentation, it, the, the build system tells you. So BDD is not Cucumber, BDD is not Gherkin, BDD is not test automation. Cucumber, Specflow, Behave, Behat, they are all things that understand Gherkin. Uh, BDD at the end is the same as ATDD, which is the American version called acceptance test driven development, just to confuse matters. Um, and then finally, Cucumber is an optional ingredient in the BDD salad. Thank you. <laughs>